Platte River drains Dunlouis Loch, Loch Na King, and flows through Bunbeg to join the Crawley River estuary. The Claddy River has a catchment area of 80 km squared, most of which is generally steep mountainous country rising rapidly from an elevation of approximately 60 metres at the lakes to 750 metres around the perimeter of the catchment area. The upper end of the catchment is the most scenic, with Errigal Mountain taking pride of place. To the south you have the Poison Glen and it is said to have gotten its name when an ancient one-eyed king of Tory, Balor, was killed there by his exiled grandson Lugga. It is said that the poison spilled from a tear in his eye and split the rock at the entrance, poisoning the entire glen. A short distance from the poison glen lies Sleeves Nacht, which is part of the Derry Bay mountain range. Nestled at the foot of Errigal and overlooking the poison glen sits the beautiful old church of Dunlouis. James Smith Russell had the church built as a memorial to her husband, James Russell, landlord of Dunlouis Estate, who died on the 2nd of September 1848. James Russell was laid to rest in a vault under the church floor. The church was built of white marble and blue quartzite, which was quarried locally. On the southern shore of Dunlouis Law lies the Guinness Estate. Dunlouis House was built almost 200 years ago by Mr. Don Brian, who was attracted to Dunlouis by the scenery, hunting and fishing on the law. If you ever get an opportunity to visit Dunlouis Estate, be sure to keep an eye out for the ghost of the Green Lady, who is said to roam the Guinness Estate across the tranquil waters of Dunlouis Law. In 1954, the ESB commenced work on a hydroelectric scheme. Dunlouis Loch and Loch Na King were enlarged to provide the storage capacity needed. The Kong Dam was constructed allowing levels to be controlled between Dunlouis Loch and Loch Na King. The ESB commissioned the hydroelectric scheme in 1959 and is still in operation today. The Claddy River flows through Wild Moorland for approximately 8 kilometres, draining Loch Na King and Guidor and flowing through Bonbeg before joining the Crawley River estuary. The lower river is characterised by rocky granite outcrops with some deep pools and gorges. The ESB releases up to 24 freshets down the Claddy River to enable on salmon and sea trout to move upstream which gives some great sport to local and visiting anglers. The main run of salmon occurs in June and July and most of the angling should be approached from the left hand bank. The peak run of sea trout is normally around the end of August and the best of the fishing is in the evening from Bunbeg Bridge downstream towards Bunbeg Harbour. Some famous pools to cast a fly on would be Divers Pool, the Sphinx, the Doctor's Pool and the Falls to name a few. The Claddy River is probably one of the best kept secrets in County Donegal in terms of salmon and sea trout angling. Useful fly patterns to include would be Alley Shrimp, Badger, Curry's Red Shrimp, but in general most popular shrimp flies will work well. Worming and spinning is also popular on the lower stretches of the river. The ESB and Inland Fisheries Ireland carry out development works on the Claddy River to enable visiting and local angler access. Typical works include strumming walkways, maintaining access to pools and the maintenance of styles and other structures. For up-to-date angling information and fishing reports, please visit our website at www.fishinginireland.info.